question I want to pose to you all is what changed the game? Now I've been I, I I took I took the day on Monday to listen to sports radio, uh, watch a little sports news, and nobody's talking about what really changed the game. Everybody's talking about the Shaq Barrett sack. That was definitely a huge moment. The uh, Anton Winfield interception, definitely a huge moment. The Mike Edwards when he punched the ball, definitely a huge moment. But this is only for real Buck fans. If you're not a real Buck fan and you don't really watch Tampa Bay Buccaneers play football, then you're going to listen to this and you're going to say, ah. but for all my real Buck fans, you know exactly the moment that changed the game. The moment that changed the game was when Devin White stepped back on the field. You think it's just a coincidence that when Devin White was back on the field, Carson Wentz got happy feet? That when Devin White got back on the field, these turnovers started to pile up? That when Devin White got back on the field, the defense started flying around and they started kind of looking like that playoff defense specifically in the third and for the majority of the fourth quarter until they finally started feeding the MVP or their MVP uh, in Jonathan Taylor. You think that's all a coincidence? No, it's not. Listen, there are certain players who change the trajectory of a football game by simply being on the field. Aaron Donald doesn't have to do anything. He could end his day with two tackles and, a, and, a, and, a, and an assist, right? He can end his day with no tackles, no sacks, no assists. And the offense will still be shook simply because he's there. They have to game plan around Aaron Donald. The same thing is true for Devin White. When he's on the field, you have to account for him. And not only that, he brings an energy. Of course, when he came back, he wasn't flying around like crazy, although he did have a great uh, tackle on uh, Jonathan uh, Taylor that if he doesn't make that tackle, he, he's, he's going to get a first down. Uh, from uh, he, he caught a pass. He's going to get that first down. Listen, if Devin White doesn't check back in that game, I don't believe that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense make the plays that they need to make in order for us to win the game. There are some players that just completely and totally shifts the culture, and we have one on the offensive side of the ball. His name's Tom Brady, and we have one on the defensive side of the ball. His name is Devin White. When Devin White stepped back onto that football field, everybody's confidence and everybody's play went to a whole nother level. All right, we saw it with the uh, with that documentary that they that they showed us uh, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers football season last year when they won the Super Bowl. When Devin White is there, things change. I don't care if he's playing great or not. Things change when Devin White is on the field. This is going all the way back to last season. We were seven and five at the break. Had a late break, late by week. Guess who comes back? Devin White, and we don't lose. We go eight and zero. Oh. We completely run the tables. We don't lose because Devin White was on the football field. That is what changed the game. That is not taken away from the strip sack. That is not taken away from the fumbles. That's not taken away from the interception. That's not taken away from what playoff Lenny was doing. But what changed the game, and it's not just a coincidence, what changed the game was Devin White. It's great to see that Devin White was able to come back and, man, the future for this season looks bright if we can keep that nucleus, that front seven, if that front seven can remain healthy.